If you've ever wanted to make ice cream, gelato, sorbet, milkshakes, and smoothie bowls, there is now a device for that. Ninja just came out with their new creamy, and today I'm gonna show you how to use it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Nicole. I am so excited for today's tutorial video because I am obsessed with this machine. This is the brand new Ninja Creamy. It showed up on my doorstep last week. It just came out. And so I have to show you guys how to use this. If you've never heard of this before, it is an ice cream maker, but it's not just any ice cream maker. There are six different settings on this machine that makes ice cream, light ice cream, sorbet, milkshakes, smoothie bowls, and gelato. I think this machine was made for me. If you're new to this channel, I do tutorial videos. I give you smoothie bowl recipes, healthy snack recipes, the occasional Disney vlog. Please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because I would love to have you part of the family. I wanna be your friend. So hit that subscribe button. I have new videos every Friday and I don't want you to miss out. Okay, let's jump into it. This main part here is the base and then it comes with this little bucket as well as this lid, this little paddle and then three plastic pints. Now I don't have the other two out here right now because they're actually in the freezer. Here's how it works. If you wanna make ice cream or gelato or whatever you're making, you whip up the whole recipe, pour it into this pint, and then you freeze it for 24 hours. That's why they give you three of these plastic pints. So you can always have one stocked up in your freezer. That way when you want ice cream, you can just pull it out and send it straight to the machine. The only exception for that one is a milkshake. Now I tried this yesterday. You can see the video right here. All you have to do is scoop out already prepared ice cream, put it in the pint with some milk and then pop it straight into the machine. For everything else, you're going to mix the ingredients beforehand, pour it into the pint and then freeze for 24 hours. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to do an ice cream and a sorbet recipe. The Creamy comes with this amazing recipe book. There are so many good recipes in here to give you some inspiration or places to start. This time I just did a traditional vanilla ice cream. I mixed together cream cheese, vanilla, sugar, heavy whipping cream and milk, poured it into the pint and then it's been in the freezer overnight. Now today we're gonna make cookies and cream ice cream. So all we're gonna do is add Oreos to the mix. So here is my pint of vanilla ice cream. This has been in the freezer overnight. We are about to mix it up. I'm gonna show you how to assemble this. This is the lid for this bucket. Now to install the paddle, you're just going to slide the latch over this way as you drop the paddle in. And as soon as you release that latch, it's going to lock the paddle in place. Oh yeah, this is super frozen. Now we're going to take our pint and we're going to stick it right down in the middle of our little bucket. Now to install the bowl, you're going to put it straight into the machine with the handle facing directly front. Then you're going to twist counterclockwise to install the bowl and lock everything into place. You're going to hear that click as soon as it's locked. Now all we have to do is press the ice cream button. Okay, let's see how I did. We're gonna press this button down to uninstall. Oh my gosh, it's so thick and so creamy. Now to do our add-ins, I'm just gonna make kind of a little hole right here in the center. We're gonna add in our Oreo cookies. Now, this is super fun because you can add whatever you want, whatever kind of mix-ins you want. If you wanna do M&Ms, chocolate chips, nuts, marshmallows, you can go crazy. And these are gonna break up more when we put it back in, so I'm just gonna break these kind of in half, maybe in quarters here. Same thing, pint back in our bucket. Now this time we're just gonna press the mix-in program. All right, and that is it. I think we're done. Oh my gosh. Check it out. Time to scoop it out. Oh my heavens. Okay, wow, this looks amazing. It's time for a taste test. Here we go. Ooh, wow. Okay, that's amazing. I could eat this forever. It's so creamy and so smooth. I am so impressed. Okay, moving on to the sorbet. In this pint, I poured a can of crushed pineapple and crushed peaches. I did about half and half because I thought the flavor combo would be cool, but you could do an entire can of just one solid fruit. That's literally all that's in here. It's one ingredient, it's ready to go. I'm super excited to see how this turns out and how it compares with the ice cream. So same thing, we're just gonna place our pint straight into our bucket. I just cleaned off our lid and paddle. We're just gonna secure that on insert it onto our base, twist to lock, and this time we're gonna press sorbet. All right, let's take a peek. Ooh, wow, this is beautiful. It smells like Dole Whip. I bet this is gonna be so yummy. All right, I have a good feeling about this. Cheers. Mmm. 
I was too big of a bite, I'm getting a brain freeze. I feel like Mia on Princess Diaries where she takes a big bite of that palate cleanser. <laughs> wow, oh my gosh, this is great though. You would never know it's just a can of fruit. This is so soft. Listen, if you wanna start making your own ice creams or sorbets, this is the machine that you need. I'm gonna link it down in the description box below if you wanna check it out. But I hope you loved this tutorial in making ice cream with me. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you're the first to see my videos and we'll see you next week. Bye.